Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to unlock touchpad on a laptop. If you've locked your touchpad by an accident, there are two ways you can turn it on again. And this, both of these ways uh, work independ independently. So if you have locked your touchpad by accident in settings, then you will not be able to uh, do it with the first method. And if you've locked it with the first method, then you will not be able to do it through settings. So the first method is by the special key on keyboard. Here is the function key row, uh, function keys row. And on this exact laptop, there is an option to use this exact key to toggle on or off the touchpad. So as you can see, my cursor is moving right here. And now when I click on it, it's not moving. And now it's moving again. Sometimes it will have a different icon or if it will not work with a single click, instead of that, you'll need to click on Fn and this key at the same time. It depends on your configuration. Although, if this didn't help, or you just don't have this button, then you may need to get to settings. But how to get to settings if uh, the touchpad is disabled and you don't have a mouse? Now I'm gonna explain it. So to do it, I'm gonna show you, so you see the screen as well as the keyboard, just like that. And now first we need to click on the tab button until we get to the search. So, okay. You can see I'm using the tab button to move between different stuff. Now I'm pointing on the Microsoft Edge app and I can use the arrows to move between apps. Then when I click on tab, I'm pointing on the start button. And when I, when I click on tab again, I'm pointing on the search. Click on shift tab to go back to the previous selection. And you can either open the start or the search. They will both work. So I'm gonna click on start because sometimes you can disable the search and you cannot disable the start. So for all users, they, the, there will be the start button. Then to open it, click on space. Now, start typing in settings. You can see if they are at the very top. Now you can click on enter to open them. And it has opened the settings. Now you'll need to click on tab like that until you are pointing on one of the options on this sidebar. So I'm gonna click on shift tab to go back. Now I'm pointing on home so I can use arrows use the arrows to go down to Bluetooth and devices. Then click on space and now click on tab until you are pointing on the first option in this section. So there is this free space and under this free space, there is a new section. So I'm pointing on it right now and I can use arrows to go down to the touchpad. Now click on space to open that. And now I'm pointing on the on off button. If I'm not, then I can uh, just easily click on tab or shift tab to start pointing on it. And when you do, you can just click on space to turn it off. Now I cannot use the touchpad and now I can use it again. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.